Yo, what is going on guys? Matt TV Haynes here, aka the Clockmaster. Right now, I'm going to be reviewing, spoiler free of course, Wonder Woman. So before I get into this review guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you are new, hit that like button man, and also don't forget to check out my social media links and everything right here, the pages here. Also guys, I did a really cool vlog about Wonder Woman, I went to Times Square, and I did some really cool shots man, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys click the link right above there and check that video out man, if you're a Wonder Woman fan, trust me, I think you'll like this video. Video, man I spent a lot of time on that video I'm um, shooting it and editing it I spent like nearly four hours editing that video so it really mean a lot to me if you guys check that video out man thank you so much if you did already if you haven't checked it out please check it out man like I said it'll mean a lot to me if you do all right for you guys let's get into this review so for starters this movie basically starts out I don't hear your review What the heck? I don't want to hear your review because you're a fan and you're obviously going to say that it's better than the best movie ever. Blah, 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 blah. Just like Batman vs. Superman was the best movie ever. Look how that turned out, huh? <laughs> First of all, how the heck did you even get in here? And then second of all, you can't just come in and just barge in and just assume I'm a fan? Boy! Look, you DC people are all psyching up for Wonder Woman movie like it's the best thing ever. Like, oh, you guys are still trash. A oh, boo. And then, like, you guys are Batman vs. Superman and Justice League and the Green Lantern. Like, Spider Man Homecoming is totally gonna be the summer movie, not Wonder Woman, so. But I like both, though. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll do a non-biased review for you people, so you, you know, that way you guys can get picky about that. How, how do you think about that? Uh, okay, okay, I, I, guess that, I guess that works, yeah, yeah, sure, I, I yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I got you, I got you, but you, you still don't tell me how the heck you got in my room. Alright, well, you're gonna have to go because... You don't belong here if you or something. I just have to call the police or something if you, you know, you, you gotta go. What if I don't want to leave though? Okay, well, I'm calling the police now. I'm gonna be doing this thing. I can't, you know, I can't. I can't, I can't. Hi, officer. There's a there's this guy in. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. No, never mind. He, he's uh, he, he's he's gone. Yeah. N no, it's it's all right. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You have you. I'm sure. I, I, I. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You you have a good night. Okay. All right. Take care. Okay. All right. All right. All right, guys, I'm just gonna give you my non-biased review of this movie first, and I'll talk about how I really feel about the movie. <laughs> so basically, this movie stars Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman and a few other people that you, you're there to see. One, you're there to see Gal Gadot. Okay. So this movie follows a woman by the name of Diana Prince. Diana Prince is actually on a mission or whatever to become this whole new um, Amazonian warrior, whatever. She just wants to be that kind of person. She encounters a man by the name of Steve Trevor and wants to take him back and blah, 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 blah. And you know the story. Okay. So all in all, guys, this movie was a really good movie. I mean, I, I would say it's about a, um, a, a, a rating wise, I'll give it about a 9.5 out of 10. There's a few issues with certain things that I, you know, like, you know, CGI stuff that, you know, if you really want to nitpick it and everything like that. But other than that, guys, the movie was pretty solid. Cinematography was great. Patty Jenkins did a fantastic job on this film, really orchestrating a lot of things. We had Zack Snyder also. He did some production work as well. A lot of people don't know that. Zack and Deborah Snyder was on board doing some production stuff. So we had all of that going on there. Another thing, another thing that really complemented this film was the soundtrack. The soundtrack was beyond 
anything that you would really want to expect from a movie. It wasn't fantastic, but it was soothing and it really drew you into the film. It wasn't, it's, it's memorable. It's something that you can really gravitate towards and listen to even without having to watch the movie. You can really listen to that soundtrack because it's very, very masterfully written. A lot of, a lot of the action sequences did not fall flat. It really did its job as far as getting you intensified. And I've seen this movie in 4DX and it's my first time watching this movie in 4D. So there's a lot of things going on and you know, the chair is moving and wind is blowing at your face and you're smelling gunpowder and you're feeling the punches on the side. It's a crazy experience, but it was really good. And being part of that when a horse is moving, you're moving too and you're you're, you're in this whole new world. And this movie did a great job of getting you um, in this world, and of course, 4DX as well got, did a good job, of, you know, involving you so much in the world. But they did a really good job writing it. A lot of the comedy sp uh, points, um, they was well written. It was well written, and there were some scenes that were funny, and there were some scenes that weren't so funny. Um, certain jokes really fell flat, um, but majority of the time, 95% of the jokes worked. It wasn't forced. It was natural. Gal Gadot was really, really funny. Chris Pine did a splendid job as well um, as Steve Trevor. It was a great job for Warner Brothers and DC and all the cast and crew for bringing Chris Pine on board, really setting the stage for Steve Trevor and really adding this new dynamic into the DCEU. So for a lot of you Marvel guys out there who are really concerned about comedy, if that's your main concern, this movie definitely has that. It's not forced in any way, shape or form. There are certain scenes that it really worked well. And like I said, there was one or two scenes, it just didn't flow right. It just wasn't like, okay, that was a little bit too much. But for the majority of the time, it was done really well. The story was really grounded. It had a nice base, it had a nice foundation, and then it did what it needed to do. Um, set up a nice origin, and I would say, this is how you really do an origin movie, man. This movie was done perfectly when it comes to origin things, really got you to know, understand Diana Prince and understand her motives, why she is, you know, how she ended up the way she ended up in Batman versus Superman um, from that point, because this does, the events in Wonder Woman does happen before that film. So everything really worked well with the story. Like I said, grounded, nice base, got you up, climax was a good, had a lot of twists, a lot of surprises, some good things that really was written so perfectly, some things you didn't even see in the advertisement. A lot of people were concerned that the advertisement would spoil the film and that's nothing everything that we've seen in the TV spots is nothing compared to what was in this movie all the supporting characters did a great job and all the chemistry between Chris Pine Gal Gadot the rest of the cast members it flowed very well it was a nice smooth movie at certain points I wasn't even feel I didn't feel like I was watching a typical DC movie because it was not so all in all guys short long story short I'm gonna give this movie like I said a 9.5 out of 10 a minus now that the non-biased part is out of the way let me tell you how I really felt Awesome. Bro, son, this movie, bro. Bro, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, son. Gal Gadot, perfect choice from since day one, from since all the reactions, from everything that I've done, the discussions, I knew from since day one that she was gonna do a great job, man. Everything I said in, my, in the non-biased part of this whole thing, bro, bro. First of all, there were certain scenes that I, I was crying at. Like when I saw the action sequences, especially in the beginning of this film, yo, when they had some right, right, nice action sequences, I was crying my butt off, bro. I, <laughs> I was crying. There was a guy next to me. I met, uh, we were talking it out. We were having good conversation before the film started, bro. Me and him, like when certain things were happening, we were just like, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> and we like, we could not believe, I could not believe what I was watching, man. This was so perfect in every single way. I give this movie a 10 out of 10. I give this movie a 100 out of 10, bro. Son, bro. Yo, like I said, you gotta watch that vlog. You gotta watch that vlog to see my initial reaction coming out of the theater if you haven't seen it yet, man. But like, I wore this shirt. All right, I wore this shirt, bro. I had the pin, I had the pop, I took cool pictures. It was so much fun this film like i said chris pine yo and and gal Gadot, the chemistry the jokes they had in this between each other it worked it did a great job you got this nice sense of innocence from gal Gadot. she was able to portray diana prince as this innocent person it reminded me exactly of the first episode 
of Wonder Woman with Linda Carter. It reminded me exactly of that, yo. And what I like too, when you look at all the Amazonians and Themyscira, and you're going to see their world, and you're going to see everything. What I liked is that you know how Gal Gadot has that accent from you know from Israel, she's this Israeli sort of accent. What I liked is that the other cast members had a very similar accent and a very similar way how they spoke. So it they you know they all kind of sounded like Gal Gadot in a way, and I think that really worked well because. It felt, it, it gave you the sense of, hey, I'm in this world, but I'm not really in this world. I'm from somewhere else that nobody knows about, and I'm here. I just love how they did this. So some of the, they had some real night, the action sequences, they flowed so well. Like I said, I was crying at certain points when I saw it, and like the music too really got me like in a place where I was super hyped, bro. Oh man, I, I love this movie, man. I'm gonna be seeing it at least every day next week because I got, um, I got the, um, thanks to Regals, bro. Um, I, I was able to purchase the Wonder Woman Ultimate tickets. I'm going to be watching this as much as I can next week, like almost every day. But guys, movie, this movie exceeded my expectations, bro. I came home with a smile on my face. I went in with a smile on my face. I had no doubt in my mind that this movie was going to be perfect. This movie was perfect. Perfect. I think we're, DCEU is such an, a great path right now. If they can follow how this was done, I'm telling you guys, this movie... <clears throat> this movie Not just as a fan of Wonder Woman, but like just in general this movie did a great job Really surprising you with some things some great writing the marketing that was done in this film leading up to it really was done perfectly man It's done perfectly. Did you think you think you saw everything in the trailers? Mm -mm. No, you have not you're not even close to seeing half of what is in this film. You're not even close you think you've seen it all, but you're not even close, bro. You haven't seen half of what's in this film. DC and Warner Brothers did a great job marketing this film. I'm so happy, bro. I'm, I, I mean, people are like, yo, you paid somebody, you paid $800 for a, Wonder, for a Regal ticket? Yes, I did, because I know it was going to like the film in the first place. It was great. The movie was great, man. I, I, that's all I can really much say without spoiling too much. There's so much I want to talk about right now, but it's a spoiler-free review. So when I do the spoiler talk... And I'll go all in. <laughs> but, but for you guys who really want to watch the movie as a fan and from a non body's perspective, watch this film. You're going to love it. I mean, it, 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 it has a great balance between comic book stuff and just actual developing characters and just like good, you know, romances and friendships and relationships and things that are not comic booky. That doesn't feel comic booky. It felt like it was really done well. Color grading was so perfect. If you want to get the technical things, the color correction, all these stuff. Like I said, there's little nitpicky things with CGI at some points, not at all points, like maybe like two, like net, like 0.5% of the film. Other than that, shot very well, character development very well. Gaga Dot did a great job of developing the char um, developing the character. People were um, talking about whether she can actually hold her own in this film, and I say, yeah, yeah, she did. She did a great job of holding her own, leading, being the lead character in the film, making history, being, um, having this um, Wonder Woman, first solo film for a major um, heroine character, female hero character. It's just amazing. And to knock it off with a 93, or because I know it goes up and down a little bit, whatever, over 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, even though that's just critic stuff. I mean, to knock it off there, it's setting such a great path for DCEU. Um, People were concerned. They were like, "If this movie doesn't do well, then we're not going to watch any other DC films." And I think we re they they really saved the DCEU with this film. Patty Jenkins, great job to you and your team. Um, even Zack Snyder, who produced, and all the other producers and all the other writers, the casting directors, the um, uh, uh, field workers, everyone, the set uh, set designers, costume designers, um, station workers, everyone, editors. Fantastic job and props to you guys for making such a fantastic film. Anyways, guys, thank you so much if you enjoyed my spoiler-free review. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new. Leave your comments down below. Spoiler-free, of course. Don't talk about the movie until... Don't talk about any spoiler things until I do my spoiler review. Then you can talk all the spoilers you want when I post it. Spoiler review should be posted within at least one or two days um, for now. Latest Monday, earliest... Um, tomorrow because um, this is you know sunday um you'll get at but uh latest monday but you'll get the spoiler free the spoiler review when we're gonna go all in man so guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one my clock master oh